Namo Buddhaya. Today, we join with you all with another new video. In the previous video, you remember that we talked about the Singharaj rainforest. We talked about the importance of Singharaj rainforest, plant species, waterfalls, animal species, about Singharaj rainforest. In this video, we will be talking about a special thing. A special thing is a rock. A rock? Somebody could be thinking, what is this rock? What is the importance of a rock? This rock is called Sigiri. I think you have heard of it about Sigiri. In this video, we will be talking about the great rock Sigiri. Sigiri, Singhagiri, or Lion Rock. All of these are various names for this special rock. This is one of the most special rocks in Sri Lanka. Remember that. This ancient rock is located in the northern Madhuri district near the town of Dambulla in the central province in Sri Lanka, in our country, in my country. This name refers to a site of historical and archaeological significance that is dominated by a massive column of rock around 180 meters to 590 feet high. According to the ancient Sri Lankan chronicle, the Kala Vamsa, this area was selected by King Kashapa for his new capital. So somebody when somebody go to Sigiri, they couldn't think this was a capital in the past. But Sigiri was a capital in the past in Sri Lanka. It's that important. He built his palace on the top of this rock and decorated its sides with colorful frescoes. On a small picture, about the halfway up the side of this rock, he built a gateway in the form of an enormous lion. So normally you see in Sigiri, there's a lion shape as the shape. The name of this palace is derived from the structure Singhagiri, the lion rock. See how special, it's a lion rock. In the world, have you heard of a lion rock? In our country, in my country, you can see lion rock. Sigiri, Singhagiri. After this COVID-19 situation, please try to go to Sigiri one day. It's a very important place in Sri Lanka. The capital and the royal palace were abandoned after the king's death, after King Kashyapa's death. King Kash was a very important king, but he died. See what happens to people. He was used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. So Sigiri at first was a capital in King Kashyapa's time and became a, then became a Buddhist monastery. See how great is Sigiri? We should worship Sigiri because it was a Buddhist monastery in the past. Sigiri is one of the best piece of examples of Asian urban planning. It's a great place. Some Sri Lankans don't go to Sigiri. They don't, have, they don't visit Sigiri. What happens? Sigiri Rock is 200 meters high and visitors can walk about 1,200 steps divided amongst the number of staircases to the top. Consider one of the best examples of Asian urban planning, the site of Sigiri became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982. So Sigire is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You think how important it is. It is very important to Sri Lanka, Sigire especially. Not Sri Lanka, Sigire is important to the whole world. That's why it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It wasn't until 1831 that the abundant Sigire was discovered by British Army Major Jonathan Fox. He came across the site while horseback riding through Sri Lanka. A few decades later, archaeologists spent time on a research operation in this region. Sigiri is one of the most valuable historical momentums in Sri Lanka. Some people in Sri Lanka don't well go to Sigiri, but visitors go to Sigiri. Remember that. Visitors who come from other countries love to go to Sigiri, referred by local as the eight wonders of the world. This is a wonder of a world. So wonderful. Please go, Sigiri, after this COVID-19 situation. Please go. Feel the wonder of the world. Feel the wonder of Sri Lanka. And feel the wonder of Sigiri. Thousands of tourists come every year to Sigiri. Because of COVID-19 situations, people can't come. But in the previous years, thousands of people come to visit Sigiri. It is probably the most visited tourist destination in Sri Lanka, Sigiri. This is the importance of, of Sigiri Rock. One day you should go to Sigiri. As a Sri Lankan person, as a Buddhist person, you should go to Sigiri one day. 
it is very important to you all. So this is the importance of the great sea. The environment around the sea grid may have been inhabited since prehistoric times. There is clear evidence that the many rock shelters and caves of the vicinity were occupied by Buddhist monks. And is that from early at the 3rd century BC, the earliest evidence of human habitation at Sigria is the Aligala rock. Aligala. And the shelter to the east of Sigria rock, indicating the, that the area was occupied nearly 5,000 years ago. Our Buddhist monastic settlements were established during the 3rd century. Even rock shelters or caves were created during the period. King Kashyapa the first. This king's son was a non royal, and he again was withdrawn from King Dadasena. The rightful hero, Mughala, fearing of his life, and fled to South India. And even being afraid of an attack by Mughalana, King Kashyapa moved the capital and his residence from the traditional capital Anuradhapura, that means the Sigri. During King Kashyapa's region, Sigri was developed into a complex city of fortress. Most of the elaborate constructions on the rock summit and around it, including defensive structures, palaces, gardens, and there were more. And the Chulavansa described that King Kashyapa as the son of King Datasena. Kashyapa murdered his father to get the throne, which rightfully belonged to his younger brother, Mughalana. Mughalana fled to India to escape being assassinated with Kashyapa, but keeping the revenge of his mind. In India, he raised an army with the intention of returning and retaking the throne of Sri Lanka, which he considered to be rightfully his throne. Expecting the inevitable return of Mughalana, Kashyapa is said to have built his palace in the summit of Sigria as a fortress as well as a pleasure palace. Mughalana finally arrived and started the war and defeated King Kashyapa. During the battle, Kashyapa's armies abandoned him and he committed suicide by falling on his throne. Mughalana returned the capital to Anuradhapura, converted Sigriya into a Buddhist monastery. In and Prophet Vasanara, Paranavitana's book, The Story of Sigriya. Now let's learn about the Sigiriya water fountain technology. Sigiriya water fountains work with the water pressure and the gravitational force of the planet Earth. So that was a simple design to implement, but the creators have done a miracle here. Those builders use underlying pipe system to produce the water pressure. So they build the system for higher to low. Then to get the high water flowing to speed using the Earth's gravity. First they made the Sigiriya tank and then used it as the primary water resource of the king. Secondly, they used the water to fill the inner motor and the out motor. Then they made a canal to get the water to the moat which lies around the summer palace. Finally they made a canal system to flow the water to the water garden from the moat. So what about the terrace of the lion staircase at Sigiriya Rock Foresters, it is thought that the name Sigiriya, meaning the lion rock, must have been derived from the fact that there was a gigantic lion statue constructed so that the rock resembled a lion figure. From whatever the original lion statue, only two of its huge paws are remaining now on the northern side of the rock. A verse written on the mirror wall in graffiti 
says that the person who wrote it has seen the beauties on the rock and the line of Sigrid. To the lion's paws is the stairway leading to the rock summit. There is a fairly large terrace with the remains of early buildings brings to the northern side to the lion paw entrance. On this terrace, the first ancient from the base of the rock terminates. The catapult power in Sigiria is also an important place in Sigiria. Sigiria mirror wall, catapult power. Then you can reach a flat area called Singapore and sit down and relax a bit. This place got its name because of the two lion paw structures located beside the stairs to the top. It is considered as the remains of the massive gatehouse to the sky place. The mirror wall, Kerpa Power, can be found as the very first self criticism of the Easter egg in the world, which carries the human thoughts people had shared after seeing marvelous paintings and carvings. How important are these places in Sigil? I think you all must have learned about the water technology, the lion foot, and the cardinal power. The water gardens in Sigiri. As you cross the bridge that serves on the on the entrance through the surrounding mall, you are greeted with one of the finest preserved works of gardens architectures in Asia. The broad wall built by the King Kashyap. And his personal pleasure area that water gardens are divided into three distinct symmetrical gardens, adorned with the burning pools, ponds, and fountains, and many more, and they are still functioning. Powerfully many of engineers and the first garden consist of central islands that is surrounded by full of water. The water that fills this pool is still drawn from engineers underwater conducts designed by the ancient builders to link the main water bodies in the area being the largest garden. When we compare to the other two, it was designed as an exclusive burning palace to King Kashyap's combiners. It's significant in disparity in the form of the encoast and it is closed all of it from wall structures which have a star resembled to that of oak. The ponds are really and they are really synthetic and beautiful. And these things are built by our great king Kashyap. Now about water, water secret water fountains. What are they? There are so many underground controls in the Sigiri, but the creatures have managed to plan everything to get natural beauty. Sigiri water fountains also act as a natural beauty factor. However, like other features, this fountain system also burst on eco plan. That means Fountains are on the both north and south sides for four overall water fountains of Sigiri water gardens. And after the location, the lounge and area, water flows to the miniature water gardens. So this garden has a period system, parade system with specially features and irrigation technology. So they got the maximum use of water using the canal system and the gardens. Sigiri water fountain works with the water pressure and the gravitational force of the planet Earth. So that, that was a simple design to implement but the cre creators have done a miracle here. Those builders used underlying pipe system to predict the water pressure. So they built this system from highland to lowland to get the high water flowing speed using the Earth's gravity. Firstly, they made the Sigiri tank and then use its primary water resource of this game. Secondly, they use the water to fill the inner mount and the outer mount. Then they had they made a canal to get the water to the mount with lights around the summer palace. Finally, they made a canal system to flow the water through the air garden. So even how this water fountain work in Syria? When there's a rain on Sigiriya, around Sigiriya, the Sigiriya lake gets filled with full of water and then directly flow into the marks. 
then to the most of the summer palace. After that undergoes pipes to the rest of work, there is a small unit, unit called the controller. A controller is a unit or something like a device that controls something. So the water controller controls the flow of water and the maximum the water pressure to make cigarette water fountains work. And there are so many underground tunnels in Sigria. Some are the northeast monsoon generally and activated during the December to February. During that time, the water level of Sigria Lake goes high. Really high. So, the best season of the Sigria water locations and launches is from December to February. So, during these rainy seasons, it is one of the most beautiful scenes in Sigria. So now we are going to explain to you some of the greatest places located in the most important and the most historical place in Sri Lanka, Sigiri. As I feel these are the most astonishing wonders of the world. These are the true wonders of the world. We talk about the wonders of the world. But these great places in Sigiri are the real wonders of the world, are the true wonders of the world. Being Sri Lankans, we should be proud of these places. So now we are going to learn about palaces in Sigiri. Interesting palaces, different, different palaces. On the summit of the Sigiri rock was a citadel in 5th century AD. The terrain on the summit ranges to around 1.5 hectares. The layout of the palace and the landscape gardens on several terraces can be seen on the summit, everywhere. It's said to be that the palace construction must have mainly done all by timber, unlike in other ancient palaces where the doorways were made out of granite. A large pool of dimensions, 90 feet to 68 feet, made by cutting out of rock. There are also few smaller ponds made using brick. The foundations of earlier buildings are still intact, so the complete plan of the palace can be seen even today. Think about it. Even today, we can see the construction plan that was in the past. Think about how advanced they, the people in the past had the advanced technology. Better than today. Better than today. So that when we go to those places, our hearts feel something special. And great thoughts come to our mind. We should be proud of our ancestors in the past. Not like us. Our ancestors are not like us. Very skillful people. There are also great inscriptions in Sigria. The mirror wall is painted with inscriptions and poems written with by the visitors of Sigiria. The most ancient inscriptions are dated from the 8th century. Just think, how old are they? These inscriptions are providing the Sigiria of the tourist destination more than a thousand years ago. Just think, how popular is Sigiria in past in Sri Lanka thousands years ago? Think about it. Like in present, Sigiri of the tourist attraction thousands of years ago. Think about it. How interesting, really. Think about it. That's why Sigiri is so popular. That's why Sigiri is so important to us. The art and engineering Sigiri are also amazing, astonishing, unbelievable. The Sigiri rock fortress itself has its unique identity due to its shape, not found anywhere else in the island and can be recognized miles away from the distance. We can recognize that miles away from the distance when we see it. Sigria Rock Fortress being the citadel fortress has been well designed for its defenses by ramping ramparts and moats built around it. There are several approaches to the inner city and most prominent is the western entrance. From the summit of the rock, the land areas up to distance of tens of miles can be watched making it hard for the enemy to make a surprise attack to the kingdom. It is that developed. It is that secured, Sigiria. These are the great ideas of the past kings that lived in Sri Lanka. Think about it. King Kasapa had reverted his fortress to an ecological wonder by having royal pleasure gardens, water gardens, fountain gardens, and boulder gardens made inside the inner city as well as the palace premises on the rock summit. See how interesting these are, these are the inscriptions in Sigiria. There's another important fact that draw attention both local 
and foreign tourists. It is the world famous painting of some beautiful ladies that are preserved even for present generation and future generation. They are known as the Sigiri frescoes. These are various types of fascinating ancient paintings in Sigiri. When you go to Sigiri, you see nice, nice paintings. Old paintings, ancient paintings, unbelievable paintings, astonishing paintings. The most renowned in the Sigiri frescoes of Sigiri damsels, locally called as the Sigiri Apsaras, painted on a western rock face, cavity about 100 meters high from the rock face. There now remains around 21 paintings of Sigre frescoes, but there have been around 500 paintings during King Kashapa's time. Now we can't see all of them. Things change. So now we can't see them. Wonderful paintings. In the King Kashapa time, there were more than 500 paintings along several other places of the same western rock face. Think about it. The Seagria rock fortress paintings are found on about a halfway height of the Seagria western rock face, or about 100 meters from the base of the rock. These are found the rock face cut inside to create a depression about 70 feet lengthwise. Think about it. How special is Seagria? How important is Seagria? The spiral iron staircase takes the visitors about 44 feet from the gallery below. and. Iron platform runs throughout the length of Fresco's rock depression. There are around 21 paintings in this area, and it is believed to be a fresco method from using these paintings. All these paintings are of young and old female figures. That's the interesting thing. These all paintings are figures of young and old uh, female figures. That's the thing. And there are no two similar figures among them. All are different, different ones. These figures are popularly called Sigri Apsara or Sigri Damsel. When we see these nice pictures, paintings, our mind travels into the past, to King Kashapa's time. And thoughts like, oh, were they, they are so clever artists in Sri Lanka? These things come to our mind. How lucky was Sri Lanka? Think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters who are watching this video, these are the places in Sri Lanka that presents its identity to the whole wide world. These places could be seen in Sri Lanka only, not anywhere else in the world. Other countries do not have these ancient treasures like Sri Lanka. We have those treasures. That's why Sri Lanka is special. That's why Sigiri is so special. So today, we learned about Sigiri, one of the amazing places of Sri Lanka. And we discussed about the importance of Sigiri and the wonderful history of Sigiri Rock Fortress. Remember one important factor that we discussed so far only about one rock fortress. So much information about just one rock fortress. Think about it. A special rock fortress in Sri Lanka and one ancient rock fortress that brings pride to Sri Lanka. That gives pride to Sinhalese, that gives pride to Sri Lankans. This is the only piece of horticultural garden and you all know it has become one of the most popular tourist attractions that supports heavily to the economy of Sri Lanka. When you are free after this COVID-19 pandemic, your next trip should be to Sigiri. Because you learned about Sigiri today in this video, so your next trip should be to Sigiri. So we think that this video advances you all to understand about the great Sigiri. So, I would like to share merits we have collected with our meritorious Bhante and with our principals, sir, deputy principals, teachers, and Kavit Chaitya, Vidun Sanvidu, who presented in this video, the teachers and our friends who helped us to make this video a success. May the triple gem bless you. Namo Buddhaya.